Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I thought I'd uh, continue with my travel series and going ahead and doing more of an urban kind of smoky sort of look. And so that's what I got going on today. And as far as going ahead and starting, um, for my base I had the Tower 28 on and I had this in the shade Melrose and the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as cheeks, I uh, went ahead and continued on with the Tower 28 in Magic Hour. So I combined um, this one, which is definitely a cream blush, with uh, the ColourPop and Vogue. So uh, these are the two. I know I feel like I should start dancing at this point like that, but um, <laughs> Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. And um, so these are the two blushes that I have on. <clears throat> as far as what I did for highlighter, I went ahead and added in, ooh, yeah, everything's trying to roll away today. Uh, the Undone, as far as my highlighter, and this is from Undone Beauty. You can get this over at um, Ulta. And I combined uh, the purple down here with the pink to go ahead and get the highlighting effect. And so I used uh, those two for the highlighter. And I used the uh, usual suspects, the NYX Thicket Stick It and la or Light Ash Brown. And then I um, did go ahead and use the ColourPop Eyeliner, and this one is in purple. Um, oh, I did use some of the Lumi Glotion as far as my base as well. And I did go ahead and use the um, Heat Wave and this their Sunrise Bronzer uh, to go ahead and be my bronzer today. Be my bronzer. And then, <laughs> and I guess I'm a little strange in the head today. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over this cold. So, as far as the... <coughs> okay. As far as the eyeshadow palette, uh, what I went ahead and used today is Lust. Uh, for desk and with this one it's a ColourPop palette you can get it over at Ulta or on the ColourPop website and um, with this one it's another one of their palettes that has the muted colors in it but also it's um, really on either side of the spectrum it doesn't have a lot of colors in between so either you're going to get um, a look that's going to be um, bronzy, well, peachy bronzy, or else you're going to get a look that's going to be gray, purple, blue. And there are some duochromes in here. Uh, this one is a duochrome, this one's a duochrome, and this one's a duochrome. So you can, it's, it's a muted palette, and um, it, uh, like I said, you either get one kind of look or the other kind of look and um, it's fun but it's a little bit more difficult to work out. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and used these two colors as my base colors today in my crease and then I used this color on my inner corner. Uh, this color over here I put on the lid and then I went ahead and put this on the outer corner. I added this up on the brow bone. So I have a lot of the colors on today. And I went ahead and put the, um, the purple underneath the eye. As far as the way the eye look uh, worked out, let me go ahead and show you here. So it really is a dark, smoky look. And, you know, you, you think urban 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 with that but you know everybody likes a dark smoky look once in a while um i did use a finishing powder and like i said i've got my sungasm out and my uh this is actually my uh, extra so i finally broke it out because the other one i had panned and so um it's a pink powder 
and it's from Catrice. You can get it on the Catrice website. And um, as far as what I did on the lips, I went ahead and used one of the ColourPop uh, lip liners. And I think this one is in one of the BFF shades. So I went ahead and used this one and then the Tower 28 Cashew. And that's how that, yeah, that's how uh, the lips turned out today. And as far as going ahead and doing the mascara, I went for the NYX On The Rise. This is a mascara primer, and then I Love Extreme. And this one actually has some castor oil in it, so if, you're, um, if your lashes are feeling like stiff, you know, and uh, not in good condition, this will help to go ahead and give them a little bit of moisture so they feel a little bit better. And um, I was going to go for my other tip because um, I included this in my last video, but like I said, I've been getting over a cold, so it wasn't actually, I think, the clearest. Um, what I found, uh, <laughs> and let me go back here again, um, Nadine uh, Baggett, she's an influencer on the UK uh, YouTube, and she was always saying that um, any of your arms and legs, well, as the further you get from uh, your core, from your torso, uh, the drier everything's going to be. So um, your thighs and your upper arms are still going to have moisture, but uh, yeah, your lower arms and hands are going to need more moisture. So, um, started out and uh, going ahead and dry brushing. And dry brushing is just um, using a brush, and you can get these over at Ulta, and brushing your skin up towards your heart. And so you start down at your feet and you go all the way up. It's uh, physical exfoliation usually before you take a shower or a bath and that way you get all the dead skin off. Well, um, everybody gets old, older. Yeah, not old, just older, right? And so um, what I had noticed that a couple of people had done was go ahead and use the Ordinary uh, Glycolic Acid 7%, uh, this one and uh, gone ahead and put it on arms and legs and wherever they have dry spots and um, look at how much you get. I mean, that's a lot. And um, there are other ones that you can do this with as well. The uh, Pixie Glow Tonic is a 7% solution, so you could go ahead and do this kind of thing with that too. But if you go ahead and put this on arms and legs, uh, like the night, well, the day before you're going to go ahead and do a bath or a shower, uh, then this will go ahead and get to work as far as getting the really dry patches off. And then uh, right before the bath, you do the dry brushing, you know, um, with a brush, and you get all the excess skin off, and that way you'll have a lot more um, nicer, softer, smoother skin in places like uh, the shins, which I don't know about you, but my shins dry out really badly. So, um, if you do have any concerns about using one of these, um, I would definitely talk to your doctor or dermatologist. Um, I've never had a bad reaction to this. It's glycolic acid. It's supposed to sort of get off the dead skin and leave you with some moisture. So, um, yeah, you just, uh, well, let's see. Uh, get some in the palm of your hand like that. Looks like water, feels like water. And then just go ahead and spread it all over everywhere. And like I said, um, usually the night before you get into the shower, this is a good idea to go ahead and do. And um, definitely try the dry brushing. Dry brushing is also good to move your lymph around. And as you can tell, I have a cold. I'm getting over it. And so yeah, when you have a cold, if you dry brush, you're going to move all the lymph up and through. Get everything moving instead of stuck. And so, um, 
I found it really, really helpful. I'm in a dry climate. Um, but again, if you have any questions about these uh, type of formulas, definitely go ahead and ask your doctor. And I think that's the video for today. So uh, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.